From Louisville Mayor to Lieutenant Governor and now the White House. WOKY's Mark Vanderhoff spoke to Jerry Abramson today about leaving Louisville and Kentucky for Washington. Mark? Jerry Abramson started his final day in office with a speech at the Fraser History Museum. He says driving through downtown Louisville on his way there gave him a chance to reflect. It was 1985 and I was in my 30s and I was single and uh, I never expected anything other, other than one four-year term. In 30 years, Jerry Abramson has made his mark on Kentucky. There was the decades-long effort on the Ohio River Bridges Project. But bridges are just a part of Abramson's legacy. You know, as I was driving downtown, you know, it's obvious that uh, 21 years as mayor and what, what you see in the downtown is just incredible in, in terms of where it was. Abramson started his career as an alderman in the 1970s. The 68-year-old became Louisville's longest-serving mayor after winning three terms for the city of Louisville from 1986 to 1999. He served two more terms after the merger before becoming lieutenant governor in 2011. Abramson touted his work with the state's community and technical colleges among his signature achievements in Frankfurt. So it's been a good three-year run. I think Kentucky's a little better off because I had an opportunity to, uh, to hold the position of lieutenant governor. And now I hope I can do something for our nation uh, uh, when I get up to the White House. As director of intergovernmental affairs, Abramson will be President Obama's liaison to local governments, working on domestic issues such as public health and infrastructure. He says it will likely be his last public role, but... You know, I, I, you never say never. Abramson won't have much of a break. He'll move into his new D.C. home this weekend, then report for a White House senior staff meeting at 8 a.m. Monday. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.